it's a beautiful bluebird sunny day out and I probably shouldn't even be fishing right now because days like today in the middle of summer man eh, they're not that great but I got a new piece of gear here so we're gonna see if we can catch fish with it and see how it goes so let's go so I'll tell you a little bit about what I got here I've been doing a little research here and there and I've been wanting to get a good rod that had a little more power than my six foot light rod that I was using for these paddle tail swim baits um, I also wanted something that was gonna be cool for hair jigs just a good finesse kind of rig and we got the seven three seven foot three inch medium light extra fast action we're gonna try it out today I think it's gonna pretty much be everything I wanted I'm hoping but for a $200 rod, this thing is insane. Um, I actually took it out last night and caught a couple fish on it. The sensitivity is unbelievable. We're going to try it again today. I got a Fluger Preston at number 30. Not really the reel that I wanted to have on this. I plan on eventually putting a Daiwa Tatula on here. It's a good reel and it works fine. I only got a 10 pound. Power Pro braid. I got a 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon leader. And that's just basically to protect against Northern Pike. So let's see how it works today. And uh, I really want to get a couple smallies today on this because that's kind of what I got it for was just smallmouth and walleye. And, and of course, Northern Pike, just a good all around rig. So we're going to start off with a three inch Kitek Shiner on an eighth ounce jig and see what we get see what we get today There we go. Oh, what do we got here? I think we got a bass. Tighten that drag up a little bit, these grew. Ooh, that's a decent fish. Oh yeah, nice smolly. Really nice one. Yeah. Ooh, okay. He's digging. <laughs> oh yeah great fight on the rod here he didn't bite too hard but i felt him felt him just enough to know it was a fish and not a rock you know that's awesome Ooh. good way to start good way to start oh yeah don't get better than that Oh, we probably got a 15 or a 16 incher here. Definitely it would be a keeper size if I was going to keep one, which I am not. But a respectable fish, nevertheless. Get our, hook, get our back on the hook keeper there. That's the way we like to start, man. Okay. Let me turn my yeah good respectable smallie there good fight yeah sweetness fought really good on that rod too there you go bud <laughs> so yeah we're just using a kitek easy shiner today i got a, a couple different ones i'm gonna use maybe switch to a bigger profile later but i just got a regular round head eighth ounce jig and uh, just a killer setup for multi-species fishing and uh, they work good in the summertime too you know they just got you can you can work them slow they're subtle you know that's what you kind of want right now and you know it's the middle of the day the sun's pretty high and they're still still into it so 
Gotta love that. Another one. Oh, another nice fish here. Another nice fish. I can't tell what it is quite yet. It might be a smallie actually. It kind of splashed a little much though. It might be a northern. Oh yeah, another pike. Pretty decent one. Pretty decent pike. I definitely wanted to catch one of these today too. Ooh, yeah, he's a better one for in here. Oh, yeah, he came off in the net, too. Perfect. Ooh. It's funny how that smallmouth is like half the size of him, and he fought, he fought twice as hard. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good fish. I'm not complaining. Not complaining about that whatsoever. Got a little mark there. That's all right. Sweet. How's that two cast later? Very nice. Awesome, man. Check our lure out here. Don't look too bad. It's got a little cut there, but I think we got a little more life left in it. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to go to the next spot, and that's going to be a pretty cool little spillway that uh, I've had some pretty decent success with in the past and just haven't got an opportunity to film anything there so we're gonna go there right now and see if we can get some fish okay next spot just walking to the water right now it's a bit of a walk here pretty nasty little path here that's not really that fun to walk but oh, I don't see anybody. Oh, that's cool. Sweet. Pretty big area here. Usually you can see two or three cars and you'll never see a person. You know, maybe you'll see one guy. Really for the most part, there's just a ton of area you can go to, a lot of public area. You know, I got this whole river stretch and it goes goes up quite a ways more. But I don't see anybody fishing. That's probably a good thing or a bad thing. I might be the only idiot out here today. <laughs> we got uh, the current break here. Some calm water. We got some rapids. There's a little bit of water depth here. So, I don't know. Big rocks, boulders. It's got all the ingredients for us to hopefully see something cool. I mean, maybe at least catch one fish. Okay. Whew. We made it. We made it. Alrighty. I'm gonna take a little drink of iced tea here. Oh, there's, oh, there's some sturgeon. <laughs> Just saw a sturgeon come up over there. That's cool. Not into targeting those today. Number one, because I don't really want to. Number two, because it's highly illegal at the moment. 
smallmouth, walleye, northern. Here we go. There we go. There's a smallie. Little one. It's a fish though. Oh, threw my lure. That's alright, I was getting wore out anyways. Nothing too big, but oh, there he goes. Okay. Well, here's a smallie, that makes me feel a little better been a little bit since I've seen any action but I do see some bait fish over there coming up once in a while so I figure there's got to be one or two in there I'm just kind of redo my lure here <laughs> sweet There we go. All right, I'm gonna get down here. Yeah. Oop, get him out of the current. Ah! Oh, that's a big one. Not a big, big, huge one, but a really nice one nonetheless. Let's see if I can, oh, jeesh. Aha, get that stick out of the way. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves a dandy here. This is a good test for this rod, I suppose, huh? And my rig. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, we're coming around, man. That is a football. Look at that, dude. That's a solid 16 or 17 there. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Cool. All right. We didn't get busted off either. I thought we were getting kind of close there for a minute. There he goes. Um, my lure looks all right. Yeah. All right, I'll keep trying her. I'm gonna go right back in there and just kind of slowly move it through that little eddy we got going on there. All right. I guess I'll keep working this little eddy over here. Seems like it's kind of the ticket. There's another one right there. There we go. Oh yeah, we got it figured out now. Oh, Ooh, hoo, hoo. I love it when he, oh, he came off. Darn. <laughs> All right, that's the lure switcher there. I think I'm gonna, uh, might change it up. I'm gonna put a little bit bigger jig head on and a bigger tail. I'm gonna put a rage tail on, it's a little bigger lure. Just give me a little more weight there with these uh, eddies here. I got a little bit bigger hook then, so let's give it a shot. Monster. You guys hear that drake? <laughs> There's a beast here, yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, he came out of nowhere. We got a big old son of a gun here. He jumped about 12 feet out of the water too. That was so cool. Jeez. Oh yeah. Huh. He's not a monster monster, but he's got the attitude like he's a 19-incher. 
<laughs> He's probably a 15, 16er. Oh yeah, beauty. Beautiful. <laughs> he is fat. That's why he's just fat and greedy. Look at this. He's not even that big, but geez. He flew about 12 feet out of the water when I set the hook back there. <laughs> All right. We ain't drink a iced tea after that one. That was cool. All right, well that was a cool day. I ended up running into a good amount of smallies there. A couple of really decent ones, a couple of small ones. Good way to test out the new rig. Glad I broke it in pretty much exactly the way I wanted to. I handled it flawlessly. And uh, yeah, we'll be back for some more. I'll be using this quite a bit, I think uh, some more this year. And well, with that being said, I'm gonna go and get a beer because it is really hot out and I've been climbing on rocks all afternoon and I'm getting old and you know what that means. I'll probably be sore tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Leave a comment, leave a like, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.